for uh, just wood foundation. Um, and then from here, what we're going to do is go ahead and start on the making of the parts where you can start making it floating. Um, for this, you are going to need some part cards if you're going to do it by yourself, unfortunately, which is okay, and I will show you what ones that you need. So, to make this floating and to make it look correct, you're going to have to put down the normal wall and then do a half wall here and then do a half wall on top. So we might have a really tiny boat so don't laugh at it. It's gonna be rough and this stuff. So the um, perk card you're gonna want to need is home defense. So home defense is to making crafts like can do like any sort of turrets, etc. And it all in all it is a great perk anyways for building. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're going to go to turrets and traps. If you're doing this by yourself, you don't have to do it by yourself. Um, you can go into PvP mode and easily destroy walls. So you're gonna craft with flamethrower. So you need four aluminum, uh, six oil, four rubber, and two screws. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start destroying these walls. Now that we have all the walls destroyed for the parts that you need, what you're gonna do now is gonna go ahead and scrap the middle layer. Or you can store it, either one, if you want to use it later. So, from here, we're gonna go ahead and start on the roofs. So the roofs that we are going to use is the half roof. Well, not the half roof, the slanted roof. So you just put that down. This is just to make it come in on the other side. You will destroy that later. Let's go ahead and place these down. No, not a I'm only going to be showing just the shell today. I'm not going to be showing anything else. Um, I'm not going to decorate at all, unfortunately. But I can show you how to make a s mask. My goodness, where is the... I always do that. I always go past the walls that I need. So, what you're going to do now is you're going to start your laying your foundation. We're going to have a little dinghy. Um, <laughs> it's going to be very small. You can make this larger. I just kind of making it kind of tiny today. So, I'm gonna start on putting the doing the bottom part of the uh, ship. So, I'm going to go ahead and put down the doorways because the doorways uh, make it float. Alright, from there, I'm going to go ahead and just pair, pair. You're going to go ahead and change this out to a regular wall. guys do want me to do that let me know I will and I can come back and show you how to do that so there will be hanging spots but you will delete them so go go I'm gonna go ahead and jump up so from here I'm going to go ahead and Put down another floor. Well, not a floor, a bookcase. And we're gonna go ahead and pull it up. It is a lot easier with friends. Um, 
but right now my friends aren't on, so they can't really help me out right now. Let's see if this will go ahead and hit this wall or roof. No, okay. Well, actually, well, cool. So, what you can do is get all these on the outside for now. Must wait, I guess, because we love one waiting. I need to pull it closer. Alright. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do some stairs. And we're going to go ahead and shove this up here. personally don't mind that it is like this because, you know, either way, I can kind of use it as my advantage and I can walk down past it. But it's up to you. You can put it this way, whatever way you want to do it, and it's just, I don't mind it going this way because I kind of like it. Um, so what it's going to say is that it's intersecting. So, you can do a store something. Let's see here. Let's use it. Ah. So it wants to go that way. So you want it to go this way. Okay. So go ahead and store that. And go ahead and store this. Jump back up. Repair and repair. So he from here, what you can do now is make your floors. Just regular floors. Um, if you do want floors under here, you're going to have to put a um well kind of like a uh I don't know how to explain it. I will I'll show you here in a second. You have to have double stairs and I don't personally like it. Um just be careful with this as well because if you put anything down that you don't want to be there then it's you're kinda like screwed basically. You're not able to <laughs> move anything after the fact, which sucks, but, you know, that's okay. Let's be careful. So, so what we're gonna do, uh, like that. See, this is kind of stuck now. So you just gotta be very, very, very careful, because this is gonna annoy me. I can't move it now, which sucks, but I can do is just blop. <laughs> Cover that up. So, a lot of people, I don't know how a lot of people like to put their camps, um, but we're going to, it's strange, okay. Now it won't let you put it like this, like full slate roof like that. I don't know why, but it's fine. Go ahead and put down that there. Oop, it's my friend. 
So you put this down as such. And then you go ahead and put this down. Oop, I need to repair this. Whoops, okay. Same thing. Go ahead and put down this. I personally like this being here just in case if you can't jump up, but you can always delete it. And then go ahead and can now put the walls properly. Have a little dinghy right now, but right now I am fine with. Like here, this is kind of, it's going to be outward. So unfortunately, can't put this down. So what I like to do, so sometimes, um, you will have an outward wall at the moment. If I can get it to flip around. Sometimes you can get it to flip around, sometimes you can't. It just it be like that. Um, some of these things will be kind of pushed out. Um, you can take this out though and it doesn't have to be there. Like right now I could delete it but then the, all the floors are stuck up here. So you could just do like um, something other than those uh, that um, stair or something like that, to be honest. Which I don't, I personally don't mind it, but I know some people do, which is okay. Alright. Um, you can do paint on the outside, um, then on the inside too, if you wanted to. Um, so. This is where, if you don't, like, you can get stuck here with the stairs. As soon as I put this down, they're permanent. So, it's basically permanent now. I mean, see, so can't get rid of them. So, what you want to do, you want to make sure that whatever you want here, like, wherever you put the stairs, just be careful, because those... That's where they're going to be, really. Oop, please. Uh, see? So here, kind of hecked. Out of luck now, because it's stuck. But that's okay. We can work with it and make it all peachy keen. You can use it as um, a plank or something. Just put a, somebody on there and throw them. You know, so that's stuck there now. So you can't do anything. So again, be careful. As I showed, you're hacked now. <laughs> can't do anything. But you can remove the walls, so that's nice. Thank God for that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do this as a. Shutter. So, plus side of this with, I usually do, is put some railing. I know that usually the, um, this is like a little dingy, but <laughs> usually I make them bigger, but I kind of forgot to make it a little bit larger. So, if you want to have a... Kind of like a, oh, ah, like a nice little thing up front. I usually do this. Hold on. Can do a walk up like this. Let's do this. Do that. Do this. Okay, 
Okay, I'm just gonna launch myself off again. <laughs> that we will delete, don't worry. I will sh again just doing the flamer trap thing. Ah, uh, wall decor. Let's do. Mm. Let's do the Scorch Beast Queen. Queen like that. As so. Um, but so what I use. Can go ahead and throw down these because they are now available to use. Thank you. I'm a little dingy. It's fine. <laughs> I like him. He's cute. Also, remember that it's okay to mess up. You know, it's even though it's frustrating. Like I just messed up showing you on the video and I'm not gonna like just be like oh I'm perfect at building when I'm not at all and they're just little mistakes and that's okay if you want to keep it perfect then hey by all means go for it so what you can do even though I'm in an entire tree um is do floor decor I'm going to go down to this butte, the spinning wheel. You can find that in the White Spring Station. Can go ahead and place that as so, and then now it looks like you're kind of driving the ship a little bit. Even though a lot of people like their wheel to be right here, but you know, all ships are different. <laughs> so from here, if you want to make a mast, um, you can go ahead and make the mast. I will show you how to do that. Go ahead. Okay, put down two floors. Get out these stairs, and then what you're gonna do is this post. You're gonna go ahead and make a floating post. And then make another one up top just for a moment. Scrap that middle po that post that's on the stairs. Scrap the stairs. Go ahead and put the post down. Delete that top post. And then, what now you're going to do is... Blueprint the structure. Go to your blueprints. Now you can move this post anywhere you want. This can also work in regular um, houses too. So just go ahead and put your post where you want it. Yeah, right here would be good. It's loud. And then up here, if you want a post up here, just go ahead and be careful because it might go into the floor underneath. I right. Okay. So again, you don't, if you mess up, that's okay. It's literally, don't get frustrated. Things happen. I mess up all the time. <laughs> all right, so you got a post. So I'm gonna go ahead now and show you how to make a um, mast. Should I have one going up there? Um, it does go outside a build area at times, so just be aware of that. Alright, so what you're gonna do... Personally, I start out going this way. Um, 
just so that it can start um, in Word and then, well not in Word, but kind of start doing its thing. Um, go ahead and put down conduit out here. Nope. Accidents. Again. Which is okay. What you want to get gonna do is just put this big one on just for now. Um, now go ahead and go back to your power connectors. Go to the medium. Uh, okay. Go ahead, touch that, uh, so. And then some people like to do a double out like that with their pirate ships. Depends on how they're feeling. But I just, either way, I just kind of slap them on there. Put it on there. Put it on there. So from here, even though my cute little rinky-dink um, thing is going, I just go ahead and put um to kind of connect as a power source. Whoops. Usually kind of do it like that. Just have it kind of showing that it's connecting. And you can take this and connect it up to here. Kind of pretending that the it's a sail. You can, you know, do it in a different way if you want. Um, and then here, same thing. depends on how you're feeling. Um, you can make floating walls up the, to it. Um, it will just be square. I haven't done it yet. I'm planning on trying it later. Um, see if I can't make a floating, kind of a floating mast type thing. Um, we'll see how that will go. So I also go ahead and do a power connector right about come on you silly here that I tie into this one let's go ahead and move him down just a bit Yeah, I mean, I don't mind them being right there. Okay, and then can connect this, might as well. And then the same thing for over here, but right now, just go ahead and do that, and then should be good. Alright, so, I accidentally messed up on my clip. <laughs> I was just showing um, fun things to put down at the camp because, you know, I we love when you hit the wrong button and not save the clip. Okay, so I was saying, I don't remember exactly what I've s saved, so I was saying the display case, you can go ahead and put in anything that you want in here. Um, you know, you want to put a stealth boy, you could put like a that could you could put this you could do anything that you want in here um, and then just go ahead and uh, there's saves so you can show that you you know like took a bunch of people's stuff and then you can you know transfer some weapons onto here so we can assign that and then you know your black powder rifles as such and then make them walk up and then they can fall off. Sometimes, personally, this is going to stay here because I think it's fun. 
Um, we do. Oh, well, by we, me. I do. Where's the floors? I like to do this. If you would so kindly. Go in. So you could put this here, and then that could be your plank as well. And then, there's an also fun little trick, that if you just want to, just fling them, which I think is... From here, you can decorate with the boxes, um, stuff like that. And then, I personally like hiding my generator, so my generator is hidden right here. It does not take away your... Um, your power. So you see how this is lit up green at the moment because it's connected power. Let's deconnect it. So now it is um, not green. So let's go ahead and connect it power. Just take your fusion generator and you can put down a spike board trap. Go ahead and trigger the spike board trap. And now you don't have to hear that god awful noise. And again, it is still powered. I would bring it closer, but. It's all up to you, um, but again, how I showed you that the whole entire thing did repair itself. And then, um, from here, oop, my goodness, I put down on my mistake a cannon. Um, because why not? Cannons are sweet. And if you wanted to, you can also take a display. So, got your displays. You can do a heavy weapon stand. You can just make, I don't know which way it's gonna go. So, you can put down, let me see if I have any heavy weapons on me. I'm just, it's fine. So like, you could put uh, the broadsider in there and it could signify as a, um, cannon which I think is really cool and I will have pictures at the end of showing a fully decorated um, if you guys have any questions please let me know um, even though I messed up be careful as I showed um, this is just how you make a floating ship and if you guys have any questions please let me know um, I have an Xbox and a PlayStation and I don't mind coming and helping people if you get confused or um, in need of help. So again, thanks guys for watching. Um, my name's Who's That Girl Gaming, also known as Sleepy Sloth. Might change it, but if you guys need anything, just let me know. Um, I will be happy to help you, and have an awesome day.